I jumped off the porch, nose was leaking his snots. Hemp was leaking from the leg, big homie was shot. BG caught a couple in the night to the top. All my relatives been acting since when niggas was tossed. Ten of ten brothers home, what was happening is fuck. Say that's my brother, motherfuckers, you ain't ride with us. Keep a sh What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Robin. I'm back with another video. Um, today we're not in the shop. Um, it's it's cold. It's like 20 degrees outside. It's snowing the ground. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna do something special today. Today we about to go pick up some um, C5, uh, some C5 brake calipers um, from somebody that I, I, I found on um, somebody I found on. Um, Facebook Marketplace. We're about to go do that. Um, but before we get into the, the video, man, I want to give a, a shout out to uh, my boy Joseph. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro, for your support. Um, he runs a company, and I support all entrepreneurs. Anybody that's trying to do something um, that is doing something, whatever it is, entrepreneurship, whatever, um, I, I rock with that. I support that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Um, but he runs a company called Successful Services. You know what I'm saying? It's a viral side disinfectant cleaning service on the east coast you know what i'm saying from baltimore to virginia so go ahead and give him a a, a, a shout you know what i'm saying his number is 410-929-2036 you know what i'm saying go ahead and give him a shout and i'll put up his card and everything like that on the video um like i said go ahead and give him a shout if you're on the east coast or whatever but anyways um shout out to him and everything that you're doing bro uh that's commendable um don't mind my mess back here man like i said i'm moving um, so I got the car all packed up and stuff, ready to move to my new location. Um, but yeah, man, we got to go pick up these C5 Corvette calipers. Um, but if you, if you stop through for the first time, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. And yo, let's get into it. All right, y'all. Here it is. Uh, <clears throat> C5 Corvette brake calipers for the front and the back. Um, it also has brake pads with some good meat on it. So. Um, looks like these are really good. I checked the pistons. They all look good. The boots don't look like um, all torn up or anything like that. Um, it look like, you know, like I said, I checked these. Feels like pretty good rubber. A lot of meat on the pads. Um, I thought they were going to be red, but the guy said he decided to give me these ones instead of the red ones because these ones were in better condition. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clean all these off. I'm going to clean it. Um, get all this dirt and grime off of here and I think I'm gonna just get some caliper paint and paint them myself um, and then I'm gonna redo these ones too these are the ones for the back um, so yeah I mean it all looks pretty good like I said plenty of meat on the pads man um, boot looks good so um, when we go and you know what I'm saying get the spindles and the hubs and you know the brackets and everything um, we'll go ahead and 
Uh, I don't think I'll mount them up because I don't know if they'll fit with uh, with the wheels that I currently have. So I have to look at getting some wheels. I was searching for some I rocks, but you know, just for temporarily. You know what I mean? Um, my goal is to really, you know, what I'm saying, go like Forgiato or Corleone Forge with the with the El Camino, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously there's a lot more that needs to get done before I go uh, with any of those type of wheels. So anyways, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Um, it was just a quick pickup, man. And the dude's house was, you know what I'm saying? Like, dope for like a car guy, man. Dude had a lift. I think he might have had like a 52 Bel Air or something like that, two door. Um, I think it's like, you know, I'll have to put a, a picture of what it kind of kind of look like similar you know what i'm saying in in the video right here so you know what i'm saying but it was clean he said it was a a, a corvette drivetrain so motor um all of the you know um transmission the whole thing was corvette drivetrain the thing was like all the way sanded down the bare metal looked like he was um welding some stuff fixing some stuff the thing was really really clean i think it had c5 wheels on it too if i'm not mistaken but um yeah dude had like park shelves and stuff like that had a corvette in the driveway Pfft, pretty clean setup man but shout out to him for you know what i'm saying provide me with these corvette brake calipers and they look good you know what i'm saying so you know only time will tell when i put them on the car or whatever yeah we're about to get real serious with this el camino so um that's why i had to go with the brakes because the brakes on the car now are terrible it's like stopping a dump truck you know what i'm saying i'm going um, trying to stop the car like a mile before I get to my my turn or my destination type stuff You know what I'm saying not literally a mile, but a pretty far far um, ways like it doesn't stop anything like my Impala or my Camaro So that's why I went with the Corvette um, Brake calipers front and back. I got to convert obviously the back to disc brakes um, we got to get the spindles the hubs the bracket and the um, uh, disc brakes, um, drilling slotted rotors or whatever. Um, so once we get all that stuff, we'll go ahead and throw that on. Um, I'm probably going to do the suspension at the same time. So, um, I think I'm going to go with coilovers in the front and then I'm still debating whether I'm going to do the QA1 control arms or not. Um, if I'm going to go that far, I might as well, um, I might as well go ahead and do that. But, uh, anyways, like I said, man, we're going to go full scale with the El Camino. So there's so much more content to come, y'all. Um, like I, like y'all seen in my video, my car is packed up, ready to go. So here in a few days, we'll be in a new location. I'll be able to get back to my cars. I know I haven't uploaded uh, a video in probably about a week or whatever, but um, it's real slow. It's cold outside. Like I keep saying, I'm not trying to have my cars broken down because I got to move. Um, but once they move, I can tear them down and we can get busy. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, sand the Impala down. And I might get some help from some of my homies or something like that. We're going to paint the Impala, get that done. Um, simultaneously, I'm probably going to do the interior and paint the El Camino at the same time. So when I'm not working on the Impala, I'm going to work on the El Camino, get that done. And then after that, um, we'll go ahead and... Um, throw the suspension parts on the car um, and get that ready to go. And then hopefully simultaneously while I'm doing the suspension and all that kind of stuff for the El Camino, we can go ahead and um, send the LS1 to the machine shop and get that built. Um, and like I said, I'm still undecided on the motor um, because I don't know if I'm gonna go boost or not. I keep saying I'm gonna go boost with, you know, turbocharger, supercharger, whatever, um, one of those. And if I do that, the LS1 doesn't fit that bill. Um, if not, the LS1 is plenty. I'm going to build the motor anyway because regardless of the situation, I can throw it in anything that I buy. I can buy a car with no motor, no transmission, and just throw it in there. It will be good to go. Um, like I keep saying, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to get this project to come to the channel. The car is not for sale yet. Um, I don't know when it will be for sale. Um, it's pretty much it's it's at auction you know what i mean it's at auction they haven't put it on the auction block yet to be sold so who knows you know whatever um i'm kind of growing impatient you know i've been looking for other project cars and stuff other things to bring to the channel um that donk that i was talking about in my last video that thing is rough it's really really rough and i don't know if I'm ready for that level of commitment just yet. And plus, you know, for a donk, I kind of prefer a, convert, com prefer a convertible, you know what I'm saying, a vert, you know what I mean? And, you know, so we'll see, you know what I mean? I keep talking about what, what plans are, things keep changing, my mind keeps changing, it switches all the time, so whatever, you know, if, if it happens, it happens, if not, 
then whatever. But anyways, thank you guys for rocking with me, man. Um, it was a little quick video. As you see in the driving footage, there's snow all over the ground and stuff like that. Um, I tried to make it as entertaining as possible, but realistically, all I was doing was going to pick up the calipers. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have got footage of dude's garage because, it, yo, it was like a car, car guy's heaven. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, um... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Before y'all exit the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification, y'all. Help your boy get to a thousand subscribers, you know what I'm saying? And let's let's run the channel up. But anyways, always remember, work hard so you can live free.